As principal of the Spillage Elementary School, I say stop arguing. We need to decide what to do with our school tonight. And I think I have found our answer. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Let me introduce you myself. I am the one, the only, the great, greatest education. Best of the best, brightest of all brightest, solver of all problems. I heard your community is in need of a new school. The old one isn't meeting your needs anymore. Yes. yes. Yeah. Well then, I have a solution for you. I have placed in front of you the future. But you must choose which direction you wish your future to go. One of these is the answer to your problems. But you must choose only one. Is everybody in agreement with this? Only one. In this crystal ball, we have school number one. A school that will have great value to any community who possess it. Children will be trained. They will leave their schools with skills that benefit you, the community. Your elementary school will provide workers to bring about economic development. Mechanics, electricians, carpenters, art workers who can contribute to their community. What I'm talking about is a vocational school. I vote for the vocational school. Good idea. Excuse me. This idea of teaching our students vocation instead of basic academic skills sounds great. Except there aren't nearly enough jobs or money available for students to work here in Micronesia. The government is cutting back on staff and there are nearly enough private businesses. Are we going to train our students jobs that don't exist? My cousin graduated from BATS three years ago and still doesn't have a job. Yeah, and if there is no jobs here, they will have to go abroad. And if we, if we give them education based on vocational skills, they will have no basic academic skills like reading and writing in English or mathematics to survive in another country. My cousin who lives in the States said he got a job working construction. He had no experience whatsoever, but they trained him. So why should we provide for this expensive form of education when they get, can get the training on the job at the employer's expense? We should also remember that a large percentage of Micronesians are moving overseas. And many of those people are high school or elementary school dropouts. They are moving overseas to an even more competitive workforce without skills. We could provide these skills and prepare them for a future wherever they live. But we do need to have some vocational training. You know, we need to improve our economy. We need to provide for our children, you know, give them some skills to use to you know, support themselves. You know, some kids just aren't going to succeed in academics, so we owe it to them you know, so that they can, you know, so we can prepare them to support themselves. Okay, okay, okay. Let's move on to number two. In here is the key. The key to you. 
not the island next to you, or the country 10,000 miles away. You. Yes, unlock your future in this world with a school that is all about your world. Cultural preservation, your language, your history, your customs. If you want to survive as a community and not be eaten up by other worlds, you need to protect and teach life as you know it. Teach a curriculum based on culture. A curriculum that will provide students with skills to preserve their culture and survive in it. And the knowledge and strength that comes from knowing who you are and where you come from. That's what I've been saying all along. That's a school for us. Wait, wait, one more. In this school, we have a vision for the future. A vision of excellence. A community school that teaches skills necessary to get a higher education. Reading, writing, mathematics, science. Skills that will produce thinkers, lawyers, doctors, leaders of communities, leaders of countries. An education based on academic skills. Which will it be, vocational, cultural, or academic? Maybe school number one is not the right direction for this community. What about school number two? Let's preserve our culture. Yes. If we devote our schools to teaching kids our culture, how will they ever survive in the rest of the world? Shouldn't we be able to teach our tradition and culture at home? so kids can learn the necessary skills they need for their future in school? You know, our traditions aren't supported by our current curriculum. You know, our culture is under attack, and I think we should, you know, there's a need to make sure that it survives. You know, and I don't think we should only focus on culture, but it should be a big part of any curriculum we have. You know, it should complement and be complemented, you know, uh, by other areas of study and other codes of education. I agree. Culture should be part of any cu curriculum that we choose. Do you know that my daughter showed up at the village chief's party in shorts? 
You know, I've tried to teach her, but she just doesn't listen. Wait a minute. Only one. Remember, you can only choose one. We should stick with academics. Our kids learn academic skills to take wherever they go. We can teach culture at home, and any vocational training can be taught on the job. Excuse me, but I don't think that's the answer either. An academic education is designed for the brightest kids in class to get smarter. It only provides competitive skills for the brightest kids. Only the smarter ones will go on to college. Many kids don't even get to high school. If they are not able to go to high schools, how would they compete for a job? They would have fourth grade reading level if they are lucky and no tangible skills. It would, they would have a hard time getting a job. I want my children to go to college in the U.S. They must have strong writing and math skills to, to do that. Why should we have a community school that is only going to help the brightest of our children? We need a school that teaches both vocation and academics and makes culture a standard part of all its lessons. That's a very neat solution, but it's not an option. Maybe we don't want your options. You can't just leave us here in this mess that you have created. I told you to, to only choose one. You couldn't handle that. Don't you have anything else to show us? There is this one. But you, are, you haven't shown that you are ready for it. All right. I'll show you. But you must understand, this is not a solution. It's not an answer to your problems. It's only a direction. But you must work together to create your own solution. What are we supposed to do with that? That's it. We, the community, have to decide what goal we want to focus on. If we want all three, we have to decide how much of each we want to teach our children, vocation, cultural, or academic. We can't depend on some bony salesman for a school. There isn't a model that fit us. We must make our own.
If we wanted to meet our needs, we have to decide what our needs are. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 That's good. It's good now that everyone is agreeing. So let's discuss what we want out of our new school. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah.